Welcome to the 12 Step Recovery Evolution podcast. Visit recoveryevolution.co.uk for more episodes, helpful resources, and links to our social media. Also visit the site for information on how you can attend a future Zoom session or workshop live. Thank you. Morning, guys. Um, good to see everybody today. <clears throat> um, what I was thinking to do today to sort of just sort of follow on to giving sort of more information about the program and, you know, it sort of keep, it always keeps come to my mind that, you know, when we people say I'm doing a program, that's not just going to meetings and helping people, that's actually practicing the 12 steps or having a spiritual program of action. And I guess a lot of people may not be clear on what the principles are or what spiritual principles are. And so we've kind of got in a bit into, you know, some of the, the defects of character that are blocking us off and getting in our way. But again, it's not a case of just stopping them. It's a case of, of replacing them. Some of them is a case of just stopping them, but mostly it's a place of substituting them for something that's actually better and um, more wholesome and healthy they can help us have better mental health and a better life and better feelings and feel better about ourselves and trying to get ourselves into a, a better place and you know also helping other people having a better experience so I thought today we could have a look a little bit deeper into what the spiritual principles are or values now <clears throat> you think because there's a 12 step and I guess you kind of get the impression I did for many years that each step contains a principle, but I don't think that's quite the truth. I think there's quite a lot of principles in each of the steps, but ultimately it's not even kind of saying that, you know, we should be following this 12 step program. Again, the 12 step program is a vehicle to a spiritual way of life a spirit ritual way of life because when we practice these spirit rituals then we have a spirit ritual experience and so i think it's important that we um understand what a spiritual life is and then how we do it i actually realized this morning because i didn't do much work on this because it's, i'm going to try and make it a bit more interactive probably should have let fox know ahead of the time but I'm going to make this a little bit more active, but some years ago I, I did write a program and I'm going to try and find it if I can get it on my laptop and I called it Turn It Around. And the Turn It Around was just a simple little um, workshop that we did because I like the word devil backwards is lived and evil is live. It's like the devil is, if this life force is going the wrong way, it's destructive. And when we turn it around, it's creative. And I like to be much part of creation rather than destruction. Don't get me wrong, I do understand some part of creation does include some destruction first. And that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to bring some destruction to this unhealthy self and allow our higher self or our higher mind, as we were learning in the On Awakenings, to flourish so i think it's worth again trying to make everybody as conscious as we can of what we're talking about so that when we're actually trying to practice this program we kind of gets you in the ballpark of what we should be dealing with because again i think a lot of people say they're practicing a program but i'm pretty sure if i stood on your toes and grilled you it probably wouldn't amount to much what you're actually saying and again, when we're thinking about stopping drinking and stopping drugs, of course, that's a wonderful thing. And it seems like the best thing in the world. But it is actually a lot more than that. You know, even in the big book, it says, look, the man or woman that <clears throat> thinks just because they stop drinking is enough. It said then they're unthinking or uncaring. It's, it's like it's, it likens it to saying you're like the the person that's come out the root cellar after a tornado and you look around at all the destruction and and you say ain't it grand the wind stopped blowing and there's years it says of 
reconstruction ahead. And I think that's an important thing. Now, no one likes to hear that in early recovery, but there is some years of reconstruction. You've, you've been destroying your life and it takes some um, time to build up. Just like the example there um, that we got, who was that from? Who gave us that example? I can't remember. Uh, Lee, I think it was, that mentioned about, you know, being able just to go shopping and not to spend all the money and, and Val paying a, a cows to tax. Just, you know, that's all part of the reconstruction of our life. And, and again, it's taken a new belief system. It's taken new principles. It's taken new actions to start reconstructing that life. So I thought it might be fun. I did actually look online and over the years, a couple of times I did yesterday <clears throat> at, you know, the 12 steps and the principles contained in the steps. And it kind of gives you these one word kind of answers. And again, I just don't think that's sufficient. Again, this is all my opinion. You can agree with me. You can disagree with me. If you agree with me, I want to hear from you. If you disagree with me, I don't. <laughs> just joking. <laughs> but... So I thought what we could do is we could each look at each step and then instead of me just telling you what I think, which I probably will anyway to some degree, but I think it'd be nice that, that maybe you guys could consider what we believe, what spiritual principle would it take or what do we think, what spiritual principle is contained in each step. Now, we ain't got too long, so I don't know how far we're going to get. Again, I've never done this before. So if you've got your pen and paper, Andy, or some way of recording it, I'd like to say, put it out there to you guys and say, look, step one says this. It says, we admitted we were powerless over alcohol and that our lives had become unmanageable. Now, my question would be, what spiritual step would you think is embodied in that statement, in that step? Honesty. Honesty. Humility. Honest, a realistic view of yourself. Humility. Surrender. Surrender. Uh, hum humbleness. Being humble. Humble. Ex yeah. ex acceptance. 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 Yeah, but surely it's humility, hope, courage and responsibility all in, in one together and willingness. Say that again, you're throwing all, you're putting all of them in? Well, it's the actual one, the principle was given, it's acceptance, but it's got to be humility, hope, courage, responsibility and willingness all in there together, really. Yeah, well, that's my point. That's what I'm saying, Jody. That, that there's when you actually look at uh, you always kind of believe there's just one principle but as you can see this this it takes quite a lot of principles to even accept that first step so that's kind of what i'm hoping to look for so if you can write all of them principles down which one did you say hope courage humility hope courage responsibility willingness and then the one that it gives itself is acceptance yeah, a willingness, yeah. Now, again, maybe next week we can even have a look at some of these individual um, like responsibility and acceptance and even have a little bit further look at them. So just on that first step, we've got, I've written down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine principles that we probably should be aware of that we should probably be practicing. So that, that, that's, that's starting to get an idea of, you know, what when we say we've got a program that we're practicing, these are the principles we should be applying to our life experience and our situations. So that's quite good. So, and there's probably a lot more we could add to that, but we're, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna leave it at that. And then we're gonna go to number two. So number two is come to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity. Now, 
the one that's on the internet, again, they're all a little bit different. It said hope. Um, but I don't. So I'm going to put that down as the first one. It's not the first one that jumps out at me, but. Open mindedness. Yeah. Faith. Faith. Yeah, faith. Trust. Definitely trust. Courage. Any more? Humility. Humility again. Humility again. Yeah. Courage. Definitely courage. Strength. So say again, Val. Strength. Yeah, we can put that in there. Would you say forgiveness was in there as well? I, I would say that's probably yes, definitely. And to time. <laughs> Was that again? So I said t time, time. Time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, can you explain that? Um, I mean, it takes time to do anything, doesn't it? So, I mean, patience, I guess that would be one of them. So patience. I think pa patience, patience is more a principle, but I think yeah, you're right. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. What Any about um, giving back? I think that's probably, could you put that into sort of more of what a principle? I was thinking of like volunteering for charity because it's not always about giving money, but giving time, um, giving a smile. Which, which one are you looking at, Val? Hmm. Number two, we're on, come to believe that a power greater than yourself could restore us to sanity. Okay, let me think. You, that's number t more 12, isn't it, the one you're talking about? Yes, I am, yeah. Willingness. Sorry, whoever said that sounded like they were a long way down a corridor. Hi, do you need to get nearer your mic? No, you sound like you're a long way from your mic. Thank you, can anyone else hear her? I can't. I can only hear her. Little... You can hear her through Carl, I think. Acceptance, she said. She oh, said yeah. Number, uh, can't believe. Yep, we can put that in. What, what about willingness? Can't believe. Well, that's definitely yep. Yeah. Faith and discipline in there. Uh, Open-mindedness, open-mindedness. Uh, Surrender. Yeah, definitely, definitely five. And what else was there, Joe, did you say? Like discipline and acceptance around being... Oh, definitely discipline, I'd say. Uh, what, who was that? Did someone else say something? Surrender. Surrender, definitely surrender, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right, we got fifteen on that one, so there is more, but we're gonna stop there. Then we're gonna go on to number three. Number three is we made a decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God as we understood him. So what principles do we think are contained? Or willingness. Willing? Definitely willingness, yeah. Trust. Behaviour. Actions. Uh, I think they're not. Faith. Hi. Hey. Hi. Surren surrendering. Dirty. So Hi. Hang on, slow down a bit. Trust. Trust. Yeah. yeah. Courage. Courage, definitely. Commitment. Strength. Zeal. Commitment. Commitment. 
Hope. Hope. Yes, willingness. Accountability. We've got, we got willingness. Account How could you say assertive? Assertive. How could you say that? Zeal. Zeal. Faith. Um, Determined. Accountability. Uh, committed. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, committed. Because assertive, you're saying it with, with, with conviction. Oh, conviction. Conviction. Put, put conviction. I'm only going to put words down that are kind of sound spiritual. Well, that's Faith. surrender. Uh, mate, yeah, we're definitely, yeah. Surrendering. Definitely. Yeah. Sincerity. Sincerity, uh, yeah. Well, yes, honestly, honesty. Yeah. Made a decision to turn a world on life over the door. Sincerity, yeah, we can put that. Faith, Lester, it's having faith. Faith, yeah, we've got that, we've got that, we we'll stick that down. Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, I'd like to put surrender in. I don't know if anybody said that. I said that, Lester. You did. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Have we had humility? Not yet. Seems to come up a lot, though. <laughs> What about gratitude? Made a decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God. Well, I like I like gratitude broken down as great attitude. So I think it's important that I have a great attitude. So I'm going to put gratitude. Acceptance in uh, an eye power, as we understand. Well, I've put acceptance without a doubt. We can have that. Courage. Courage. We've got courage. The discipline again. I think definitely it's an ongoing thing, so we put discipline. Hope. Gonna put hope. Willingness. Got willingness. What about preparing to humble yourself? We've got humility. I've got fifteen now, so Okay. Tension. There's more, but you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna post all this online because I think we got more principles in the steps than anyone else in the world. <laughs> <laughs> right. So now we're gonna go to step four. Step four is courage, searching and fearless moral infantry of ourselves. Humility. Humility. Yeah. Responsibility. I think I had courage. Trust. Brutal honesty. Patience. I think we just put honesty, but oh no, I'll tell you what, I'll put brutal. No, I'm going to put just honesty. Truthful. Vulnerability. Willingness. Willingness, what's the, definitely. What's the Humility. We're, we're on four. Cheers, Lester. Truth. <laughs> We've got true uh, honesty. Zeal. We can, we can put truth. Zeal. What about perseverance. That's trust. Perseverance. What about uh, trust? Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. we got trust. Responsibility. No, uh, we can put that definitely. Vulnerable. I love responsibility. Vulnerable. Organisation. Organisation. I don't know if that's a spiritual principle, but come up with a word that's more spiritual, but along them lines. Survival. Self acceptance. Integrity. Integrity. Ooh. 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 Integrity, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Maturity. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is that a spiritual principle? <laughs> <laughs> but it's needed. <laughs> it's definitely needed. Well, 
I think that actually comes as a result. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what happens on the way out, not the way in. We don't like it, though. <laughs> what about love? Love. Unselfishness. Oh, selflessness. <laughs> yes. Forgiveness. Yep, yeah, forgiveness. Did you get willingness? Uh, got willingness. How do you say introspection better? Say like that. Awareness. Got awareness. Awareness. All right, just put that. I think as well. Generosity. Explain that a bit more. Well, um, <laughs> don't know. I've just got it as my corrective measure when I see my step four, isn't it? Yeah, but what's the principle? Oh, well, I see what you mean. It, I suppose if you. I guess, I guess being generous. Generous with the truth. No, I'm not feeling that. No, <laughs> nor am I. But I know it fits in there somewhere. Yeah, have a think about it. All right. Think of a, a, a more of a print as if it was a principle. I've got a good one. Contemplative. Yeah. Contemplative. Patience, patience and tolerance. Uh... No, we ain't got either of them. Uh, I can put patience. Self acceptance. Ooh. Love. All right, I think I got plenty for that one. Number five. Admitted to God, to ourselves, and another human being the exact nature of our wrong. Humility. Repentance. Honesty. Courage. Honesty, I think courage. Trust. Trust. Integrity. Definitely trust. Sorry? Integrity. Willingness. Insight and understanding. Uh, willingness. Humility. Right. Insight, understanding. Humility. Courage. I think you've got to try and humility. Uh, integrity. It was the understanding and insight. I'd like to think of a principle that that would be, though. Self-sacrifice? Sacrifice. Yeah, selflessness. Selflessness. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Contentment. Contentment. Yeah. Can you expand on that one? Well, to because because to be be able to be honest, you need to be able to be comfortable with the outcome you're going to get and content with with what it's going to yield <laughs> as well, which is I guess a kind of humility. See, that's the thing I'm noticing in some of these words, they kind of like contain again maybe two or three principles, but I'd like to get the principle out of the word. So, <laughs> humility would be a good one. Acceptance. Uh, except yeah, yeah, that's what I'm kind of getting right with contentment, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, that's I say, that's got that principle in it. Trust, vulnerability, you may have these, but integrity, willingness, and consideration. So, say that again. I think you may have some of these. Uh, I said integrity, but I think that's been said. Willingness, got, yeah, we've got one. consideration. Consideration again. I think is that a spiritual principle? Would we say remorse? Is there other, uh, other like, easy way of saying that? Like selflessness? Yeah. I think that would. Does remorse come under forgiveness? Yeah. 
I think remorse, I don't know, my understanding of it is if you've done something you feel bad about, then you feel remorse. I guess it's guilt, isn't it? What about truth and admission? About what? Truth or admission? I think truth. Is it under honesty? I think admission would be honesty, wouldn't it? Yeah. So guilt and remorse for spiritual principles, though. Like, so what? I don't know. I mean, I don't know if remorse would be a spiritual principle. Is that not an outcome of honesty? Sometimes. Remorse is more guilt, isn't it? And then it'd be love, wouldn't it? Like love yourself, forgive yourself. Well, forgiveness, yeah. probably forgiveness, which isn't there. We can put that down. About being ju non-judgmental, would that come under like understanding? Um, well, I think there's the, certainly spiritual um, things that we should do. Non-judgmental. I'm going to put not judging. I've got understanding, I guess. Yeah. You can see, you can see, you can see with this stuff that we could probably take each word and really start breaking it down. Maybe that's what if we're in locked up long enough. Maybe that's what we we'll end up doing. Relating, not hating. Have we got um, winning this guy in there? Admitted to God to ourselves and another human being the exact nature of our wrongs. Courage, honest, we got so far, we got honesty, courage, trust, integrity, willingness, humility, selflessness, acceptance, truth, forgiveness, not judging. What about taking responsibility? Uh, can put responsibility and faith, I think. What about, con what about con contentment? Uh, I said that. <laughs> he wasn't having it. No, I'm still not. Accountability. Vulnerability. Accountability. Accountability. And respect. A willingness. Does accountability sound like a spiritual principle? Yeah. But having respect. You're accountable for what you've done. Respect does. Guaranteed to pay 100% of play. I wonder whether the UK is number one. Respect for self and others. No. Account, I'm going to put accountability in. We let the internet decide. <laughs> so, hang on a minute, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We've got 16 for that, so I'm going to move on. Step 6. It says, we're entirely ready to have God remove all these defects of character. Trust. trust. Definitely trust. Surrender. Willingness. Surrender. Acceptance. Surrender. Surrender. Becoming humble. Willingness. Faith. Courage. Surrender. Oh. Hang on a minute, I can't write that fast. <laughs> <laughs> I've got trust, surrender, willingness, faith. Humble. Love. Humility. Love. Courage. Courage. Love. Courage. Sorry, hang on, what was that last one? Courage. Courage. Big cojones. I don't think that's the spiritual. If you can put Did it in a you? spiritual way. <laughs> <laughs> Love. Integrity. Gratitude. Love. Sorry. Patience. We're entirely ready to have God remove all these defects of character. So just think about that for a minute. Contentment and gratitude. I think you need a bit of patience because he's not got rid of them all yet and I've been waiting quite a while. <laughs> well, 
You think that's oh, what that... I do, Nige? <laughs> what about release? <laughs> Let it go, release. Acceptance. Acceptance. What was it you saying there, Bryony? Letting go or release. I oh, will have letting go because I think that's yeah. something that we could do. And Lester, what about repentance or would that be the next one? Uh, I don't know. Charlie really ready have God remove all his defense character. Yeah, that would have fit. But you know what the word repentance means? Repent. What about courage? Does anyone know what the word repentance means? Or repent? To turn away from evil and to turn to good. Yeah, to turn away. It, man. Yeah. It's change. It's change. It just said uh, turn around. See, it's that turn around like the devil from evil to good to turn to being angry to be loving to be you know um letting go forgiving to be forgiving from fear to faith is that repentance just means when he says repent means turn around so that is that that's the, that's everything that we're putting down in we could have just been repent in it yeah yeah but we need to know what you're turning from yeah. and what you're turning to. That's what the whole program is about. We turn <laughs> our will. We turn our thinking from the self to this spiritual experience, to, to, to God. So the whole is thing is about, the past? It's good to know what you're turning from and what you're turning to because it can make it a bit more clearer. So we move on to step seven which is humbly ask him to remove our shortcomings. Humility. Think about that. Humility. Yeah, humility. Think about that for a minute. Humbly ask him to remove our shortcomings. Now, does everyone know what shortcomings is? Defects. 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 The stuff that's been blocking us on, on Honesty, truthfulness. Perseverance, commitment, right, surrender, willingness. Perseverance, perseverance, commitment. What was else was there? Surrender, honesty. Surrender. Freedom. Freedom. Sincerity. Say that again. Sincerity. Sincerity. <laughs> Trust. Trust. Faith. Faith. Did we say courage? Courage. Yeah. Let's start. Floor. Yeah, um, what, uh, what is the difference between shortcomings and uh, defects? Well, there's been a bit of a debate over the Big years. Question. The, oh, the <laughs> there's no difference at all. Uh, but that is the, uh, my answer I go with. It's just Bill apparently went on a writing course and he was taught on a writing course that it's not good to use the same word um, too close together, <laughs> so he had to come up with a different word. So I think they're the same thing, really. Defects of character and shortcomings is two ways of saying the same thing. Right, okay. Also, Lester, sorry, was um, I all get mixed up with um, being humble and humility? They're both quite similar, aren't they? Being humble and humility, well, again, I wouldn't say they were different personally, but what my defi definition of them both is, is the way that it makes best sense to me, is being humble 
and having humility are the it's not it's not thinking of less of yourself see because some people think being humble is this kind of servile you know oh, i'm not good enough putting ourselves down um and i think there's a lot of false humility where people give that impression that they try and appear spiritual because they want you to believe that they're being humble but for me it's not it's not thinking less of yourself but it's learning to think of yourself less right because i honestly believe what you know from my journey where i'm at now with what is humble and what is humility to me it's doing the will of god so when i think of myself less but not less of myself and i think more about god and i put his principles before my personality i think that's true humility and so i don't really go around trying to make anyone think i'm super spiritual or spiritual i just try and be myself and i believe that that's doing the will of god because god created me like he created you he loves me exactly the same way he loves you i can't be any better than any other human being can't be any less than other human being or other god's creations because exactly we're all created equally now i can behave better than you and you can behave better than me but ultimately i'm part of god's creation and so my name's lester i've got some quirks i've got some things about me that are a little bit difficult i've got some things about me that are great but i am who i am and i try and be who god created me to be it's hu and humility not that, the act of being humble. humble sorry it's humility not the act of being humble it's a yeah. yes yeah an understanding yeah. of humility i ah. came of the, uh, that made sense to me was lowering my own opinion of my own self-importance I found that useful in early sobriety because I could run around thinking I was quite important, quite self-important, and I just had to lower my opinion of that. I've heard another one, I don't know how true it is, but that humility um, is being able to say, be yourself, say, yeah, I'm good at that. You know what I mean? So people think, oh, I can't say that I'm good at something because I look like I'm being like... Um, Arrogant. Uh, yeah, but it's, it's humility to go and say, you know what, I'm really good at, you know, at carpentry, for example. I don't know if that fits Lester. Yeah, well, I think it all does. Again, I think it's all kind of like heading to the same place, ultimately, because, again, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. People that think almost being sort of self-debasing is an act of humility or being humble, I don't agree. I believe being yourself as long as you've got the principles before your personality, I think, you know, I don't have to be humble to other people. I may be being humble to other people, but I'm being humble to God. I'm so, um, let's, sorry, Lester. So, humility could be as well admitting when you're wrong, isn't it? So, if I'm wrong and I come to you and say, Lester, I was wrong what I said, or you were right and I... Do you know what I mean? That's me showing humility, isn't it? And well, it being humble. Be, it could be also um, defending the fact that you're right. Yeah, but what if I'm wrong? And then I can come to you and say to you, I was wrong, Lester. So that's yeah, well, me that... showing humility and being humble at the same time. Yeah, that is humble. But again, that's kind of like what God would want. That would be one of the spiritual principles, isn't it? Oh. To be able to admit that you were in error of the truth. Mm. So is it kind of like whether you're coming from a higher or lower place self then as well? Yeah, because I don't think that, again, I, the, the story that comes to me, Ed, I can't, I'm just trying to think of his name, but he was one of King Henry, I think Henry the Apes, um, guys who worked for him, and to Beckett, Thomas Beckett, it's a great film, Thomas Beckett, if you have never watched it, it's an old film, but it's a brilliant film, so... If you've got uh, Netflix and it's on there, look at Thomas Beckett. He was, a, he was one of Henry VIII's um, lords, but he was an honest man. He wasn't corrupt. And when Henry VIII tried to pull away from the, 
the Catholic Church because he wanted to divorce his wife and change the law. And he, he, he wasn't a very nice man by all accounts, Henry VIII. And he put a lot of pressure on everybody to agree with him. But Thomas Beckett said, I, I don't agree with you. And so, but the truth is, Thomas Beckett was almost like the Simon Cow on X Factor. That, that him not agreeing with Henry VIII made it worse for Henry VIII because everyone knew that everyone else would agree with him because they didn't want him to kill him or take all their land from him. But Thomas the Beckett, he held the principle of truth higher than his, the, the, he valued it higher than his own life. And so then Henry VIII kept putting pressure on him, putting pressure on him. He ended up putting him in prison because he knew if Thomas the Beckett didn't agree with him, then he knew everybody would know that what he's doing is wrong. And then, uh, and then, so I think Thomas Beckett, even though he was disagreeing with the king of the country, he was being true to the principle. So I think he was being truly humble. I think he was following humility, even though he was standing up to everybody else in the country. So it's the will of your higher power, and the will of your lower self, if you like. I think that's what I believe humility is, yes. It's, it's actually surrendering to the principle. And if the so principle tells... involved. Absolutely. Absolutely. It, because the humility would tell me, look, Lester, you're wrong. That's not the truth. You need to go and humble yourself. You need to have integrity. Um, you need to go and say sorry or pay back the money or rectify the harm that you've done to restore, to restore so, the truth. So hum, being humble is like... Um, being humble is being willing to be when you say you're being humble that's like um oh god i know what i want to say but i can't get it out um humble is admitting like going to somebody humility is the action is that what we're talking about humble is the doing humility is the action if you know what i mean does that make sense do you want, to think, do you want me to read out this internet thing yeah so uh being humble means modest without an excess of pride a person who brags about being humble uh, may have too much pride in being humble to actually be humble sometimes fictional characters try to earn favor by saying i'm just a humble man in search of when it's obvious they are the opposite yeah that'd be a right heap in dickinson so i'd kind of say look again um humility is kind of what it is and then being humble is kind of what you do but i wouldn't get caught up in that i think ultimately being humble and having humility is putting principles before the personalities Just, uh, use it if you're not talking can you mute your mics this is going to be a terrible podcast okay <laughs> <laughs> don't want a terrible podcast I'm a, a, I think that horse has bolted <laughs> well <laughs> it, it's been good I think uh, uh, right. brilliant let's move on to number where was we number 8 yep. made a list of all persons we had harmed and become willing to make amends to them all. Now, I think humility should definitely go number one on that one. Courage. Honesty. Honesty. Respect. Honesty. I think there's another that probably applies to all of them, if it's not been mentioned, possibly with the exception of number one, which is perseverance. You've got to, I think that's a spiritual principle, yeah. perseverance. Courage. You probably don't need perseverance for step one, but the rest of them you kind of keep got to keep going on. Yeah. Courage. Willingness, willingness. Definitely, I put perseverance down. Willingness. Respect. 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 
Patience. How about about compassion to yourself? Patience, definitely compassion. That's one that hasn't come up, but that's a good one always. I mean, look, there's going to be spiritual principles that we that would be good to learn that we're probably not going to actually bring up. But compassion is definitely uh, it's an amazing principle to practice in all areas of your life, isn't it? Forgiveness. Forgiveness. Love. Love. Zeal. Love. Love. Love is a big one. Love. Yeah, it's down. We've got it down. Zeal. Is unconditional a spiritual principle? Well, certainly uh, unconditional love is certainly an attribute of God. Again, I, I don't know what constitutes a spiritual principle in the totality of it, but I certainly think unconditional love is um, certainly something to learn and to practice and to master. So I'm going to put that and going to take love out and put unconditional love in. Trust. Understanding despite the differences, isn't it? Um, understanding with someone despite the differences is real love. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. I think you know. Faith. Yep. Faith. Faith. Yeah. Courage. Definitely. Courage. Uh, I think we got courage. Respect. Somebody else said trust. We got respect. Oh, I haven't got trust, but I will put that in. Right, one, two, three. Right, okay, I got a uh, fifteen there. Now number nine. Uh, or was that number nine? No, it was eight. Nine, we've on eight. nine. Nine is made direct amends to such people wherever possible, except when to do so would injure them or others. Courage. Courage. Compassion. Wisdom. I'm going to go compassion again. That's got to be unconditional love. Wisdom. And respect. Patience and tolerance. Yeah, yeah and, hang on a minute. And Integrity. Sincerity. Oh, slow down a bit. Patience. And tolerance. Respect. Oh, respect's a good one. What? Acceptance. Sincerity. Yeah. Nice. Faith. Faith, definitely. Willingness. Willingness. Willingness, yeah. Responsibility. Yeah, definitely. Humility. Responsibility is such a wonderful word and it's such a wonderful thing to understand because it's it pretty much it all kind of starts coming back down to that when you start breaking it down. So accountability. Definitely accountability. Good one. Commitment. Come on, I'm going to put commitment. Freedom. Definitely Pride. freedom. Pride. What was that again, Val? Pride. 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 Uh, um, I didn't think that's a good one, is it? No. I'm trying to think of what's the... Uh, Maturity. What's the opposite of that? Humility. Yeah. Humility. That's it. Humility, yeah. Self selfless. Selfless. Stimmed. Selfless, yeah. Do you get acceptance? Uh, uh, no, but I'm going to leave it. At, oh yeah, no, we ain't got acceptance. Respect. I'm leave it. I'm going to leave it at that. Respect. I got that. Number ten is continue to take personal infantry, and when we were wrong, promptly admitted it. Humility. Perseverance. 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 Discipline. 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 Yeah. Perseverance. Perseverance, yeah. Honesty. Honesty. Zeal. Zeal. Honesty. Honesty. Willingness. Honesty. Accountability. Yeah. Accountability. What was that? 
Integrity. Integrity. Yeah. Got that. And what number of step was that again? 11. Ten. Ten. All right, we go on to step 11 because we're running out of time. Um, sought through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact with God as we understood him, praying only for knowledge of his will for us and the power to carry that out. Faith. Mm -hmm. Power. So Selflessness. Again? What? Selflessness. Yeah. Commitment. Trust. Trust. Humility. Responsibility. Yeah. Oh, we should have got you to these in the chat boxes. Then I could have just copied and pasted it for Leicester. <laughs> we'll know tomorrow. Five. Five. Honour. Honour, yeah. I've never had that one. Bravery. Some discipline. Discipline. Yeah. Bravery. Bravery. Love. Surrender. Surrender. Right, number 12. Accountability. Uh, accountability. Service. Service. Uh, we can add more to that. So then we're gonna, just going to go to number 12 because I want a little bit of time on the end here. Number 12. We're having our spiritual awakening as the result of these steps. We try to carry this message to our colleagues and practice these principles in all our affairs. Yeah, love. Service. Service. Love. service. Love and service. Selfless. Giving. Selfless. Open-mindedness. Open. Generosity. Generosity. Non-judgmentalness. Non non Non-judgmentalness. Responsibility. Amber, what was that? Well, non judgmentalness, which I suppose is a bit of acceptance as well. All right, we're going to put responsibility. We've got love, love, responsibility. Got that. Did you get honor? Honor, yeah, got that. Service, respect. Joy, kind, kindness, kindness, Joy. kindness, connection, connection, passion, respect. All right, we're going to stop there. So we, we can see. Can you mute everyone, Fox, for us a minute? That's done. Hang on, let me undo you. There we go. Muted. There we go. Oh, there you go. So the object of that exercise was just for all to get some idea of how probably unconscious we are of what principles we should be practicing if we've accepted this spiritual way of life. So that was the idea of that, was just to show that and again, there's so many more spiritual principles that we can become aware of that we should actually know because we should be actually trying to apply them to the situations in our life, to our family, to our loved ones, to our careers, to strangers, and to all aspects, to ourself, that these are the spiritual principles that have been lost to us that we're not practicing and which is causing us to suffer so much so i just would like to get a bit of feedback and see if that's been a good practice it's, it's kind of probably a bit overwhelmed with the amount of principles but it would be good to sort of start becoming aware of them because when people phone me up now i'm pretty much all i'm thinking is what principle aren't you practicing because when you start practicing this principle, then the suffering will stop. All right, so we're just going to open it up. So if anyone wants to give us any feedback, and is that kind of giving you an idea of what we really didn't know?
Cat, you're up. You're up there. No. Anybody want, want to raise their hand or unmute themselves? Um, I, th I think the only thing that I would say is that, admittedly, when I was in treatment, um, I didn't have a clue what the principles were really until I did my um, secondary interview and I had to know for that um, so then I looked them up I, I, I think that it would really help people that are sort of going through East Coast recovery um, if this sort of thing was brought into like the, the group sessions a bit more um, because I, I really didn't maybe that was my fault maybe I wasn't doing enough sort of background reading around it but I didn't really know much about these principles until it came to me being asked questions on them for my secondary interview yeah thank you uh dan's got his hand up i'm mute hello mate you're all right yeah all right. Um, what you're talking about um thanks for your talk by the way and thanks for everyone else's engagement it's really good um what you're talking about um like the integrity sort of thing less yeah and the humility with that and um i was always such a scared person yeah um and and I didn't have the ability to communicate with people on any level sort of thing. So everything had just happened in my mind. I'd decide what's going on in my mind and then I'd react to that and not let the other person know. And I'm not surprised in the end to get that very successful relationships. But I kind of learned that sometimes it's all right to go and talk to people and just say, you know what, uh, you might not have meant it, but you know, the other day when that happens, you really hurt my feelings, yeah? And, uh, and, and I might have perceived it wrongly, but I just wondered if you could explain what you meant. Uh, I've had to practice that in my relationship with Tina, with some friends, things like that. And it just saves me from walking away with a bit of heart, thinking I fucking hate you, but when I see you in a meeting, I'm gonna keep going, hello mate, and giving you a hug. And I end up with a bit of heart. And, uh, and I, I just find that sometimes this, um, having the courage to change the things I can, but doing it in the right way. Thank you, Dan. And Amber? Yeah, I, I want to second what Jodie's saying, really, because the first time that I was really sort of became aware of these principles in the context of the 12 steps was around step four. And I think it'd be really helpful, especially when you're doing your corrective measures type of thing for step four stuff, to be more aware of the meanings of all of these. I'd love to know and go into it a bit deeper, like, and start working out, like, really what what the principles are how many we can come up with and like breaking them down a bit that'd be really cool i'd enjoy that and i find it really beneficial from step four onwards really and so yeah. thank you for bringing it up and thank you for thank everything you. you said thank you Albert. anybody else like to raise their hands connie yeah. i would just like to say thank you lester for that because i mean all the aa meetings i go to they all talk about the 12 steps, but they never, I've never heard mention the humility, you know, the, sorry, the spiritual principles. They all seem to just go on the steps and not the spiritual principles, which I think are more important. Yeah. But that You need to know that to be able to work the 12 steps. So I've written all this down. I'm really appreciative really appreciate this very much thank you yeah good one connie thank mm. you very much yeah well that is, is that's the thing is like we're saying um i think it was yesterday or the day before that when people know better that they tend to do better so if we know what we're meant to be practicing and what we're meant not to be doing then it becomes a lot easier for us to to actually then make an effort to practice that and i think that's the sad thing that a lot of people are suffering, but they don't have the answers. And again, why it's so important that when we are in a meeting, that we are talking about program and not just have problems all the time, because everybody knows the problems, but we don't all know the solutions. So it's not a bad thing to talk about your problems for a short period, but really you should be giving people the solution because that's the treatment. So thank you a lot, Connie. Thank you. A couple of minutes left. Anybody else?
yeah, I just wanted to say I really enjoyed the practice of um, everyone talking together over the open mics and putting everyone's um, sort of uh, own opinions in. And um, it was nice to see everyone had respect for each other. So we wasn't talking over each other and we sort of, yeah, that was, that was nice to say. Just wanted to say that. Thanks, mate. Yeah, I'm not sure what kind of a podcast, but I guess it's going to be like a really positive schizophrenic experience. <laughs> Instead of talking loads of shit in your head, there's going to be loads of good stuff being talked in your head. <laughs> Did anyone realise there were so many principles? Because there's still a lot more to go as well. We should probably list them all out. I, don't, I think we do, actually, but um, I'm certainly going to go back and review that after, again, what you guys are saying. I mean, there's a time to kind of introduce it to people, but, again, it's trying to get people clear on what the programme is and what we're meant to be doing. So at least if people reject it, they know what they're rejecting. Because a lot of the time, I think people are rejecting it and they're not really understanding what they're rejecting. Even with this God thing, the more I've learned about God over the years, I realise there really is nothing to reject. And, and I feel the same with the programme. There is nothing really to reject. It's only about doing good things. I have, uh, I've got Amy. Hello. Struggling. Today. Yeah. Hi. Um, hi, mate. Yeah, you know, I, I didn't realise there were so many principles for each step, and I think today the way like everyone was contributing as well was just really nice to get everyone's um, ideas together. So yeah, just thank you. I'm getting a lot out of this. Thank you, Amy. That brings us to the end. 12.15, I'm going to unmute everybody. Just, just one last thing. Oh, Remember, tomorrow tomorrow is going to be like a Q&A. And I think we will record it. Uh, we'll see how good it is. So if you do have any questions that you want to bring up, if you think you've got any questions that, that you think might be good for other people to know, then bring it tomorrow and we, we can still do a bit of an interactive thing. Um, so bring some good questions tomorrow.